I think one of my all-time favorite places is very rapidly becoming that uh, that threshold, that sweet, sweet threshold between wake and sleep. Just either, <clears throat> you know, teetering right there on the threshold or um, bobbing over it a little and back. It's like right up and to that threshold. Um, I, I'm here. And as soon as I cross that threshold, I'm not. <laughs> it's like, uh, where, where did I go? And then, you know, you come back over to the threshold or just unto it, and, you know, there I am again. I play around with this, this space a lot. I, I don't know how many of you do this, too. Um, it's a really great experience. I, I, I can't even describe the words for, for the sweetness of being able to stabilize it in this place, on that threshold, and just sort of teeter back and forth even. Um, I know now that uh, we don't actually go to sleep. We use that term, we, we go to sleep, or we're asleep and we're waking up. I, I, I know we use these terms, and the terms are helpful. <laughs> but um, from observing myself here, um, I can tell that more accurately what's happening is there's a place in which I uh, am recognizing myself and then as soon as I reach the threshold of that and cross it, I'm no longer recognizing myself. It's not so much that I'm going to sleep as I don't recognize that as me. But the more I do this, the more I play around with this threshold and the space on either side of it, so to speak, um, the more I'm, I'm recognizing myself on the other side. Um, it's all still very vague right now. Um, There's a lot more to it, and a lot more that is coming, and a lot more that is possible, I know. But right now I can say this. I reach a threshold at which I no longer recognize myself, and hovering in that space there where I'm not recognizing myself, but not so wholly as I go away completely, you know? Um, there's a remnant of me there. And I'll just sort of get pushed back onto the right side of the threshold, and there I'll, I'll be again. And then it's, you know, it's like jumping off a cliff, you know. <laughs> you just sit there and toe the line and then sweep yourself over, knowing that there's something there that will sweep you back when it's the right time. And uh, it's fun playing around with the energetics of that, actually. Um, And then, of course, coming into the visual awareness of, of what's there as well is, is super fun, too. I've experienced that to certain degrees, of course, and in certain ways. Uh, but there's a, there's a fullness of it that's, that's coming to the fore at the moment. I'm noticing this really cool thing about the moon cycle. <laughs> Y'all have heard me talk about how my process is, is definitely associated with, with um, the moon phases and uh, 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 the sensitivity I feel throughout my physical body as the moon phases through its cycle each month. So, like, if you were to look at, at a moon cycle visually, um, all on a single line, from full moon to full moon, what, what you would see is something resembling an open eye slowly closing to the new moon, 
and then that eye slowly opening again to the full moon. <laughs> I know these things can seem sort of corny, but it's just something that occurred to me, um, or that's been occurring to me over the past couple days, because I am curious, you know, to see something more cohesive than I am currently about... Um, mm, You know, just when things really start to happen and, you know, when I can assist from my end by doing certain things. And w what I've noticed is that when when the moon is um, moving in toward full, when the eye is opening from the new moon up to the full moon, this is when things, I mean, just really seem to go uh, in full throttle. And I know that there are things that I can do. Um, from my end to support this, you know, being um, taken as far as it possibly can. Um, you know, such as the diet and the hydration and the getting in the sun and, and practice times and, you know, just keeping myself available for it. Um, and then, you know, when the full moon uh, uh, is moving toward the new moon, uh, this is when uh, the kundalini energies uh, cease uh, for five, six, seven days, you know, something like this, and let me sleep very easily, you know, I, I'm, I'm not uh, inundated with um, accelerated high-frequency energies at night that run through the body sort of wildly, um, and then after about five or six or seven days of me getting sleep, you know, then it'll start to happen again, but slow, and then again, once we reach the new moon and the eye starts opening toward the full moon again, this is just full throttle. <laughs> and so I'm keeping my eye on this this month and um, seeing if, if this indeed is mm, a cycle uh, for me and, you know, just supporting it as fully as I can. Have you noticed anything similar like that? Uh, those of you who are recognizing that, that the moon cycle is associated with your process, maybe you'll say a few words to me here about that and about anything that you've come to realize. Um, this morning I came lucid again at the mall. How many of you visit the mall? <laughs> or come lucid in the mall. It seems to be a common place after reading the OBE boards and lucid dreaming, you know, boards and stuff. Uh, the mall seems to be a, a common place uh, that people mm, mm, go when they're dreaming and not wholly conscious, but also, you know, you come lucid there. Uh, this morning was, was really fun because I was meeting people. I met this husband and wife and... Uh, um, went to a movie theater in here and uh, <laughs> uh, was discovering some of these things about, you know, how, how to uh, dress and undress myself. Like, I, I was playing with these energies. Like, I could tell when I was going to show up naked, and I, I was playing with the energies of how to get clothes on me, and as I was going through them all, um, I was going in clothing shops and things like this. But... Uh, the funnest part were the were the people I met, and mostly I was going through the mall, asking people, trying to wake people up, asking people if they realized they were dreaming, and I met this one man who said yes. He was the first one that I asked, and um, we actually went off to the side, and he was trying to give me some information, um, again, about uh, the, the safety and and. Uh, being dressed and <laughs> things like this along this line. Uh, I don't remember a lot of the details because there were so many places that I went and so many people that I met that I didn't retain a lot of the dialogue other than, you know, the general gist that I was trying to wake people up and asking if they, they knew they were dreaming. And I remember very clearly what they looked like. This gentleman was, you know, about six foot, uh, nice build, very short, dark hair, uh, maybe late 30s. And then uh, um, a woman at the cookie counter, I, um, uh, an older woman, sort of white blonde hair, 
And she didn't. She was really surprised, and she actually took a minute, and she was trying to figure it out, like, like that made sense to her, and she was, she was, she was trying to get it. She was trying to wake up. So cool. <laughs> Um, for the first time, this is, I, I had a first this morning, for the first time uh, uh, in the astral, I ate something and tasted it. Um, the guy was calling me over at one of these uh, um, sort of, what, uh, ice cream smoothie places, you know, and he had this, uh, um, like a chocolate frosty thing, and he says, you want a sample of this? And I said, sure. And so I take it, and I eat it, and it's it's funny. It had a taste, but it had no temperature. And I looked at him, I said, if I get one of those, is it going to be colder? And he says, oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess because I brought to mind colder, the next one was going to be. Um, but anyway, just sort of a, a fun, easy, casual morning there. Uh, the next thing on my docket is a video that I really want to do, but it's one of the ones that's, that's really super hard for me because it has to be organized in my mind, and uh, organizing anything in my mind is, is not real easy anymore. But um, Mr. Kurt13 did a video, hi Kurt, uh, last week, which I believe he removed, or he last time I went to check he had removed it. But there was something in there that struck me, um, and I wanted to do a video related to whether lucid dreaming is a sign of waking up, uh, because I have a lot to say about this. <laughs> 